Hello, it's Michaela here, and I'm a sophomore biology major. We all know we're in some tough times right now. We're all trying to figure out what to do and how to manage. But I know one thing we can do, vote. It's our democracy. It's our time to lead. It's our time to vote 2020, and our voice matters. Local elections are often decided by five votes or less, many just by one vote. Here's everything you need to know about your rights and to make your voice heard. So, who can register to vote in North Carolina? Are you a U.S. citizen who will be at least 18 years old on Election Day, November 3rd? Will you have lived in North Carolina for at least 30 days as of Election Day? If applicable, have you completed all terms of a felony conviction, including probation and parole? If you said yes to all three, you can register and vote. Before we get you registered, we need to make a choice. Where and how do you want to vote this year? You should register at your current address or where you call home. For students, this is typically in your home residence in North Carolina, at your campus residence, or in your home state. Now that we have that covered, let's get registered. Even if you plan to vote early, you should get registered to vote now to reduce lines at early voting. It's a good idea to check your new academic calendars to be sure of your location during the voting period. Let's go to youcanvote.org slash get registered. First, fill in your info in the form on the screen to see if you are registered where you live. If registration is not confirmed or not correct, it's time to get registered. If you are living in student housing, be sure to check our campus address cheat sheet before registering on campus for the correct address. Visit youcanvote.org slash students for more info. Live in another state? Select your state and you'll be directed to the proper registration system. If you have an NC driver's license and your full social security number, select Open NC Website. Now, you'll go to the DMV's online registration system. You will select Go to Voter Registration Application. Select Continue to DMV Services. Select Continue as guest. Enter your identifying information and complete your voting information to get registered. If you do not have an NC ID or your full social security number, select Continue Registration. Enter your residential address or your mailing address if you get mail at a different location. Submit your voter information and you'll be mailed your voter registration form that you simply need to sign, date, and return in the pre-addressed stamped envelope that is provided for free. Mail the signed and dated form right away to be sure you are registered by the deadline, October 9th. Now that you've completed the registration process, you can expect your voter registration card to arrive by mail in a few weeks. This will list your election day voting site. You can also confirm your registration at youcanvote.org slash lookup. Think about where you will be during the election and how you plan to vote. There are three ways to vote in North Carolina. During early voting, on election day, or by mail. Polling sites will be open and will have social distancing and sanitation protections for voters. You can vote early at any early voting site in your county between October 15th and October 31st. We highly recommend early voting 
because you can update your registration and vote at the same time, which is not allowed on election day. For first time voters or students, in-person voting during this period is the easiest way to ensure your vote counts. With 17 days of voting offered, there is no need to wait in long lines on election day, only to find out that you are at the wrong polling site or you're not registered. You can look up your early voting site at www.youcanvote.org forward slash voting. You can vote on election day, November 3rd, but only at the polling site where you are registered to vote. Register to vote by October 9th and be sure to vote at your assigned location between 6.30 a.m. and 7.30 p.m. if you're voting on election day. You can vote absentee by mail. You must be registered to vote first to request your mail-in ballot. Just make sure to follow this step-by-step -step guide at youcanvote.org forward slash mail to ensure that your vote counts as simple but common mistakes can lead to your ballot not being valid. Be sure to request and submit your absentee ballot to be received by your county board of elections before October 27th, 2020 by 5 p.m. Don't wait, submit your request as soon as possible. Oh, and remember, there is no photo ID required to vote in 2020 and ID is not needed to get registered. Now that you are registered and have made your plan on where and how to vote, it is time to research your ballot. You can visit youcanvote.org forward slash WOB for our comprehensive guide to the offices on your ballot and a link to vote411.org where you can find nonpartisan information on the candidates running to receive your vote. Now that you have all the info you need, which is also available at youcanvote.org, it's time to act. Be sure to share this info, get registered, make your plan, do your research, and vote 2020. It's in your hands.